What's up, guys? Bajir here. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about the patch real quick. Uh, some of the things, just yeah, I just logged on, and I'm just going to kind of go through some stuff, I guess. Um, one really cool thing, check this out. Remember all the sounds that arms used to have, that wide variety of sounds that, you know, were just so pleasing to the ear? I.e. just constant mangle spam? Yeah, that's gone. Back to our normal sounds. There's Overpower, Mortal Strike, Rend, and check this out here. Do you see that little animation right there? Check this out. So, it was kind of hard for me to tell like when my mastery went off, like before. But watch this. So that that's my normal attack thing. Do you see that right there, that like one-handed swing? That's a mastery proc. How cool is that? So that's my normal special attack. Right there. Yeah, that's a mastery proc. How cool is that? Not only did they take away the freaking mangle sounds for everything, they also gave us some sort of special mastery proc um, animation so we actually know when it goes off. See so yeah, how the sounds sound cool. And mastery proc thing looks cool. And. The stacking, the stacking, uh, lambs to the slaughter is kind of cool. I haven't really, I haven't really gone into a BG and seen how long the stun times are, or like how badly kited we are. I'll do that later today, I think. But uh, right now the damage is looking pretty cool. I'm gonna see what the DR is on this. Like if you just charge in and stun immediately. Let me look. Yeah, he just immuned it. I th oh wait, no. Let me see. That, that was me being a noob. Well, well, he's immune to stuns anyways because he's a freaking dummy. I don't... Unless you can throw down a dummy. Maybe he's just immune to it because he's a dummy, but I don't know. Maybe some nasty DR if I only charged him once and he couldn't get thrown down. But yeah, Mortal Strike's hitting for about 30k crit. Um, Overpower is still hitting really hard. But it already hit for about 30% extra. It's just nice to have it, you know, always be up there even for the Mortal Strikes. Because sometimes, like, I know I wouldn't wait for the Mortal Strike. Um, I put some of my bar right here. I'll just click it because I'm a failure. It hits for, like, it hits pretty good with the, with the Slaughter buff up. But it doesn't refresh the Slaughter buff. So if you're going to slam spam, you got to refresh it on your own. That, it's hitting for like that much, and then Mortal Strike is hitting for, I mean, sorry, Heroic Strike is hitting for, like, really low. <laughs> it's got about a 50% nerf. I don't know if Slam's going to be viable. I mean, 10k, non-crit, might be worth specking into if you want to deal with the reduced, like, the stoppage of your swing timer. Because look, look right here. That, that right there is my swing timer. So it's going off, and now watch, whenever I cast Slam, it stops it for a little while. You see that? So you're going to be waiting a long time for the rest of your rage. But it only costs 15 rage, so I guess you could just spam it. And especially if you get your slaughter buff up, like all the way stacked up, then you'd probably be pretty okay. Yeah, so those are some of the, some of the things with arms. I see you can stun him. It's just wicked nasty DR. Unless you wait a long time. So what I'm thinking is warriors... People have been saying warriors are just going to tunnel because they can't get around. What they might do is they might just spread their damage. You know, hit somebody for 15 seconds and then go to somebody else and just like really do a lot of damage on them. Because it's not like combo points, like where our buffs are going to leave us if we go to another target. We can get, you know, our slaughter buff stacked up on somebody, do tons of damage. And then just charge the next guy. Like once our uh, once our charge is up, like if we're gonna charge a heal, then we'll just we'll just commit to the healer for a while or run back. You know, we're just not gonna be able to charge intercept as quickly. Or if you have a paladin partner, um, if your paladin is gonna be going in for uh, rebukes and stuff, then you can uh, just intervene to him, right? And then you'll be where you need to be. Why can't I intervene to that dude? I do have a shield equipped. What are you talking about? Whatever. Whatever. I mean, I probably has to be a party member. I don't care. Anyway. 
So that's some of the cool arm stuff, I guess. I'll probably do BGs later on today, and give you a more full report. And who knows? I might even um might even respec into slam, and see if that's gonna be of any use. I know there are mentions of slam being like affected by haste at some point. I don't think that's the case right now, but um. I don't know, I might check it out, because if it's hitting for 10k non-crits right now, with uh, the buff, you know, stacked up just a little bit, then maybe it'll be worth specking into. Especially if it's going to do 20 damage on top of that. And you're not going to be able to, like, you know, charge around. If you just want to sit on somebody and slam spam them, beat the shit out of them, I mean, then maybe that's going to be a viable way to go, as long as you keep your slaughter buff up. But okay. Um... I can look at Fury. Let me let me tab out to see how much time I've got on this video right now. Actually, I have no idea. Uh, we can look at Fury real quick. I don't think they changed anything about Fury. I just don't remember. Oh, that's right, Blood Surge. Uh, I'm not going to respec into Blood Surge right now. But uh, we can see how much difference your mastery makes. Oh, Mortal Strike, I mean, Heroic Strike, it's so softly now, but Raging Blow is still good. Let's get a... Yeah. I don't know. Oh, that's right. Uh, that's something I didn't do on the, on the other dummy. Let's, um, let's pop the one-shot macro and see what this uh, Heroic Strike business is all about. I'm kind of curious. So we'll pop all of our shit when you go to town. Look look how short Heroic Strike's cooldown is. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. I don't think it's... It's not the same, like, you know, wow factor as, like, hitting somebody for 40k. But, I mean, you're still doing the damage. And the really fast cooldown is kind of neat, actually. I don't think charge and intercept share cooldown on here, though. So yeah, I think I think arms is still going to be good, and I don't really want to go prot at all because I don't like prot very much because it doesn't do enough damage. I'm not really a control kind of guy; I'd rather just burst you. But yeah, well, that's cool. Um. Like I said, I'm going to experiment some more, and I'll tell you guys what I think. Um, I've got some questions about Single Minded Fury, and I don't have any weapons for it, and I don't really plan on buying any until maybe next week. I might buy them and like mess around with them for like two hours or something without any chance on them. But um, I'll go from there, but I'm sure the people in my guild will have been trying Single Minded Fury because they've been doing that for a while. And I can uh, ask them about it and see what they think and then get back to you. But yeah, that's that's the way the patch is looking right now. Um, I'm not I'm not that worried about it, guys. I think we'll be just fine. Just a matter of figuring out what we're going to do, you know? Just like usual, no big deal. So I'm going to end this here, and I will get back to you guys later with more information. Uh, have fun with the patch if you don't all play Warriors. Hopefully you guys got buffed. <laughs> and I'll see you later.